Hello everybody, this is Lee Logic Zone, and today I'm starting a new series called D with Lee Logic Zone. I have a cup of tea behind me. Ooh, that rhymes. And I'm going to talk. And that's and that's just going to be it. And nobody loves and nobody likes this here at a black screen, so I've provided you with a light bulb. Hmm, are you satisfied? Good. Onwards. If you didn't hear that, insert slurping sound effect. Anyways, let's begin. E A. And hopefully, I don't get copyright stricken for that. All their rights, all their rights, all their games go to them. Da 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 da. Copyright, copyright, copyright. Basically. Going, the subject to start off is going to be EA. EA. The good and the bad. The good. Bad in, the bad in games from EA weren't actually that bad. They're good games. I've played a bit of Madden 15, although I have absolutely no idea how to. And I haven't played any of the Madden 15 games. Madden, Madden 15 years, Madden games. Madden goes to the rights of its proper owner, da 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 da. But basically, I haven't played any other of the Madden games. I think they also put some work into BVZ1, although I'm not sure. Because, you know, it wasn't a pay to win monstrosity like the second one was, so I'm not really sure if they did put something in, but I'm fairly sure EA had um, some says in the matter of. Plants vs. Zombies, which was a, an amazing game. Plants vs. Zombies 1, excuse me, Plants vs. Zombies 1 was an absolutely ludicrously amazing game. Just the fun didn't stop when you ended the game. There were mini games and survival and two player and co op and versus. It was just pure fun. You didn't have to know anything about getting to play it. And plus, the single player mode was just Legendary. I have so many memories of buttering up zombies. Well, my brother did the planting. Yeah. But anyways, I did a lot of zombie buttering, which was very fun. And also, the ending boss fight. No spoilers here. Well, there is an ending boss fight. Spoiler warning! Whoa! Ending boss fight in a game! Even the game had that. It's not a spoiler warning. But basically, was <laughs> I? Um, PVZ One's end boss was pretty nice. So, and then PVZ Two was just so trash, so trash. It was just absolutely horrid because it was. Absolutely pay to play, not even pay to win anymore. Pay to play. It that stepped the line between pay to win and pay to play. Like seriously, you got through a cup for me. You got through a couple levels, got stuck, but you could buy some things that made the level easier and therefore passable. So basically, PVZ2 was just horrible. Now on to Plants vs Zombies. Garden Warfare. You could tell there was seem, some seem, there was some EA in it because you could actually buy the coins if I'm correct. They might have updated past that, but I doubt it. Um, you can buy the coins that you use to get card packs and all that. You know what I mean if you play the game or if you have played the game. But yeah, I mean it wasn't bad game because it was fun but it was basically a they basically tried to get the most kid friendly esser braiding possible for a third person shooter if you're looking for a good third person shooter and not a kid friendly third person shooter go play the star wars battlefront one and two not star wars battlefront um the new one, but a long time ago there was Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars Battlefront 2, and then EA basically remade Star Wars Battlefront 1, except as just a generic third-person shooter. 
Gosh, just go play the games. You'll see why they were unique. <laughs> and also, <laughs> very, very fun to exploit. Um. <laughs> I wasn't a good pilot. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare is basically a kid shoot 'em up. Not shoot up kids. Oh god. Not like a kid version shoot them up. Third person. A kid third person. A kid eye. A kidded eye. A kid eyed. How do you say that? A kidded. A kidded third person shooter them up. Yeah. Gulp. What's in it? Had a sip of tea there. What's why is there tea in the tile if I don't drink tea somewhere in it? Hmm. Huh. But basically, by the way, the rights of the picture you're seeing right now go to wallpapercave.com, and which this picture is coming from and Google all rights go to specific owners da, 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 da. Go to Google because that's where I look it up on Google images but hey it's a nice picture so I give them credit for that it's a very nice picture I like it although it's 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 entertaining to think of where that light bulb is so where the light bulb is, where the light bulb could be, so that even if it's on, it's not illuminating the surrounding areas. Probably somewhere deep out in space. <laughs> or somewhere in my imagination. <laughs> oh god, this is not going well. Basically, <laughs> um, basically, back on to ranting about games and not images with light bulbs. Um, speaking of good games, I just got through with Undertale not that long ago. <laughs> Haven't recorded all of it. I'm sorry. I just got carried away with the game. Let's basically say that was the ending and two further on would be spoilers. I just got carried I'm sorry. I'll see if I have any more up videos to upload, though I doubt I do. Basically. Um uh -huh. speaking of good good games, Undertale. Wow. Go play it. Now done yet? Have you come back to this video after playing Undertale? Likelihood, most of you haven't. But after you're done with this video, go play Undertale. I'm not going to leave any spoilers in this video. So you can watch it all the way to the end, you rebels. I'm oh, speaking of rebels, FTL! <laughs> Not a bad game, a very good game, in fact. I've gotten all the ships I've ever wanted, except for one type of one ship. And, um, one ship in total. One of the hardest ship unlocks. Yeah, one of the hardest, the second hardest ship unlock, because that could be the Mantis ship. The Basilisk, whatever the sea type name is, and the Gila monster. Um, basically, oh yeah, all my KSP stuff got reset. Reset. I have, I had so much progress on that game. I had working jet. I could go to moon and I could go to the moon and back if I want to do. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well, not easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's, it's quite technical. In fact, it's quite hard to get the moon. Like, gosh darn! I failed every time there. 
Like, every time when I wasn't failing going through the atmosphere when I was developing that vehicle, I was failing landing on the mun. Um, yeah. One second. I'm probably going to go forth with a Binding of Isaac series, too. Just a couple plays of Binding of Isaac. I'm horrible at Binding of Isaac. I'm absolutely horrible about Binding of Isaac. If you need to be reminded that again, so of, of that again. So, if you see me doing absolutely dumb, absolutely stupid stuff, that's what you can expect out of me, basically. In that. In Binding of Isaac. Out of any game. I don't know. I'm horrible. At games in total, except Portal. I didn't I did a glitchless an hour and thirty minutes speed run on that? What? Horrible, horrible, horrible! Stop bombing my channel. Chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. Um, I probably want to play some Minecraft survival games too. I'm also horrible at that. In fact, more horrible at that than I am at Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, which is the best I'm going to be playing. God, there's so many updates for that game. There's Binding of Isaac, Binding of Isaac, Lamb of the <laughs> Lamb of the Goat. Yeah, Binding of Isaac, Lamb of the Goat. <laughs> My mind is a horrible, horrible place. Um, <laughs> where words do not exist. Uh. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, there was Binding of Isaac. Finally, I go to the lamb. Binding of Isaac. Rebirth. Binding of Isaac. Afterbirth. There were four versions of that game. Four. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> What's after Afterbirth, anyways? Want to help me find out? Hashtag smallest reference ever. I can do smaller than that. See you in the lab. That was a really small reference. You'd have to play through the entire game of well, the entire third game, the submachine series theories. My tongue is no place to exist if you're a word um if you're pronunciation or a word uh, basically I'm running out of time and I'm running out of, running out of stuff to rant about um I'm also running out of time before I get too tempted and start filling my binding of Isaac afterwards for this episode so See you all later, peeps. This has been Lee Alex soon. Thank you for watching. Please don't copyright strike this video. It took me about 13 minutes, 13 and a half minutes to make. And it was fun. Come on, please. This has been Lee Zone, and thank you for watching. See you again.